Earth is full of extreme environments. The poles boast temperatures below minus 40 degrees Celsius. The deep trenches of the oceans inflict pressures a thousand times higher than at sea level. And deep sea hydrothermal vents belch out sulfur and carbon dioxide, heating the surrounding water up to 450 degrees Celsius. Despite the severe conditions these environments create, life has found ways to survive there. Extremophiles are organisms that thrive in extreme abiotic environmental conditions. Many of these environments are so harsh that they are inhospitable to complex organisms, yet microbial life has evolved to adapt to these niche environments. Extremophiles cover all domains of life, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. In order to survive in these harsh environments, organisms have developed unique adaptations to cope with the extremes. Thermophiles live in areas of extreme heat. Normally, these conditions cause proteins to unfold and no longer function. Thermophiles have evolved proteins that fold up much tighter, causing them to become rigid and less likely to unfold, allowing thermophiles to live and thrive in high temperatures. Psychrophiles are organisms that live in low temperatures. They have evolved proteins that act like antifreeze, preventing the formation of ice crystals that could rupture cell walls, protecting the organisms when temperatures drop below freezing. Pisophiles live under huge amounts of atmospheric pressure. Their less bulky amino acids take up less space, and prevent their proteins folding in on themselves due to the immense pressure the organisms live under. Halophiles are organisms that live in areas of high salinity. Normally, salt draws out water from microorganisms through osmosis, causing the microorganism to shrivel and die. Halophiles work around this by utilizing organic compounds called osmoprotectants. These increase the osmotic concentration within the organism, which neutralizes the osmotic gradients, stopping water from being drawn out by the salt. These are just a few of the many extremophiles and the conditions they live in. But why are they worth studying? Many of the biological and chemical processes done in laboratories are incredibly expensive and time-consuming. Catalysts that could be used to speed up the reactions often lead to changes in temperature or salinity. However, the enzymes, proteins, and other organic compounds used generally can't function outside of fairly moderate conditions, so in the past, catalysts couldn't be utilized. This is where extremophiles come in. The genes which code for their incredible tolerance of extreme conditions can be isolated, extracted, and utilized in the lab. These genes can be implanted into enzymes, proteins, and other organic compounds, allowing labs to use catalysts that were previously unavailable to them. Processes as diverse as PCR, biofuel production, and even cleaning up radioactive waste through bioremediation are all being optimized thanks to extremophiles and their DNA.